All right, today I'll be showing you a uh, pressure washing accessory known as a hot box uh, that a lot of guys are not aware of on the market right now. Um, what this is, this is a portable hot box that you can hook up to your cold water pressure washer that will turn into a hot water pressure washer. A lot of you guys are already aware of setups like this where it's all built as one, uh, where you got your pressure washer and your burner all put together. But um, you know, a lot of people out there, you already have a cold water pressure washer running at four gallons a minute, four and a half, five. And um, what this does is it's something that I'm gonna hook up to my pre cold water pressure washer that's gonna turn it into a hot water unit. Um, obviously, if you already have a pressure washer, this is a good way to move into the hot water world without having to spend a whole $6,000 to get um, the whole unit put together. Pretty simple to use. Um, you know, I just use a short jump hose here to hook it up to the hot water unit. When you come down in here, I have an on off switch. And then right here, I have my thermostat where I can adjust my temperature anywhere from uh, the normal cold water up to 185 degrees. Um, and that's really just an average. Really a lot depends on the uh, temperature of where you are in the world. If it's cold outside, it might not reach the full 185 degrees, but definitely hot enough to get a lot of good work done on steel tra uh, grease traps behind restaurants. If you're doing gas stations, uh, hot water makes a world of difference when you're doing these kind of uh, jobs, um, especially when you're working with grease. Uh, pretty simple to set up, like I said, your regular cold water unit running into here. If I come over here to this side, I have my outlet, so I would just hook up my hose here and kind of go to work um, on this end. A few things I want to mention about this unit. Uh, it's not something that you really want to be spraying down with water because that wasn't a gener that was an electrical uh, electrical you know component there on that end. And right here, you're going to be getting a lot of hot water exhaust. Something that you want to make sure you're aware of. And if you have any guys working on this unit, you know this is something you want to steer clear of and not be waving your hands over that area. Uh, like I said, this is something that a lot of guys don't really know is on the market. This can be set up two ways. The one I have now is on wheels, so I can wheel it on and off of a trailer. Uh, you could also have it without the wheel kit where you're just mounting it onto your trailer and thus having your hot water option right there on your trailer. Another few different options it has. This one I have right here is actually uh, set up to be on a 12 volt setup. So I would hook this up to a marine battery. Uh, you could also get it on a 115 volt setup where it would just be a three prong plug now plug it into wherever I was working. So depending on what setup you would want, you could get it either way at a pretty similar price, not much of a difference. Um, and I just want to spotlight this product, like I said, a lot of people are not aware of this option. They think they have to buy the hot water burner at one time with their unit, but that is not the case. If you already have a pressure washer, you can make it hot water um just by adding this on here i'd like to mention also this runs off of diesel fuel um the diesel fuel is what uh powers the burner um and uh that's pretty much the whole kit and caboodle if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to shoot us over an email or leave us a comment uh we'll get right back to you thanks a lot